I want you to know your mother had nothing to do with it. She's dead to me. She's a sick woman. She don't have all our marbles. Who the fuck are you kidding? It's killing you that people are talking. That an old woman made an asshole out of you. Not half so bad as certain rumors floating around this place about you. How Tony Soprano likes to fluff up his mother's pillow so she can get a nice long sleep. Boy, Anthony must have really gotten under your collar. Admit it. You're looking at the crackers Coglione for putting you in here. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I'm playing shortstop for the Mets. A psychiatrist. He's been seeing one for a while now. God only knows what he says. He wired Green he Grove. Must have really taken me for an idiot. It was my idea. Everyone else thought it was a waste of money. My cousin KK, after he had his lobotomy, he looked exactly like my son. Olivia. Empty, a shell. Better KK had died than go on living like that. That's what his own mother always used to say. Talk. Talking about meetings. Well, who, for Christ's sake, Livia? All of them. Raymond. Larry. Three of my capos have their mothers in this place? If this is true, Livia, you know what I... I mean, I'm the boss, for Christ's sake. If I don't act, blood or no... I have to. problem is not with you. That woman is a peculiar duck. She always has been. Yeah, but that's not the point. You no, know, and she's gotten worse with age. You think my mother didn't warn me about her on my wedding night? Please, don't start with that again. Both your sisters left New Jersey so young, you would have thought they were contracts out on them. I know. But you were different. You tried to make it work. Two pricks with nine millimeters. My self-esteem is non-existent right now. Well, I could kill her with these two hands. Oh, Mr. Soprano, your wife found you good. Found me, what are you talking about? You haven't spoken? Well, we left a message on your home machine. Your mom's had a stroke. Stroke. The news on TV yesterday, it really upset her. Not that it's any of my business. Anyhow, it just happened. The MTs are stabilizing her for the ride to St. Vincent's. Come on. I know what you did. Sir, please. Your only son. Your middle child. Look, she can't answer you. Her speech sound has been affected. Yeah, my ass. I heard the tapes, Ma. The fucking FBI tapes. Don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking hey. about. George Clooney, don't get in the fucking middle of this. Mr. Soprano, Alonzo, call you security. Your Uncle June's in jail now. And I got one more little last detail I gotta take care of. Mr. Soprano! I'm gonna tell you I don't die that fucking easy, man. I'm gonna live a nice, long, happy life, which is more than I can say for you. All right, that's enough! Yeah. Keep her moving, keep moving! I try to do the right thing by you, you try to be whacked! She doesn't understand you. She's smiling! Look at the look on her face! Come on, look at the look on her face! She's smiling! Come on! Come on, Come on. Look at her face! Fucking smile on her face! All right, it's enough! This fuck trying to suffocate his own mother, Sal. Huh? Scratch the eye. 